This is the J100 Pro headset by Jiku. Now, full disclosure, they did send this headset to me for free for the purpose of making this video. However, all opinions are my own. Now, this is a headset that, to me, really shines in two little aspects. Well, not little, in two different aspects. The first one, it is super comfortable. This is by far one of the most comfortable headsets that I have ever worn. And when I say ever, I mean ever. I had some bows all around or around year. I don't remember the model, but they were Bose headphones, really expensive, and they were really comfortable. I loved how comfortable they were, but this is so much more comfortable. I think in second place, the only headset that is almost as comfortable as this one are my Sennheiser's HD 6XX but that's in another league. So this headset is super affordable and for the price that it has, I just can't believe how comfortable they are. These are so nice to have. They are padded all around, the ear cups, the headband, and the way that they adjust to my face or my head rather, I don't know, there's just no explaining why these are so comfortable. At this price, they shouldn't be so comfortable, but they are. I really like the build is, kind of a metal build, it's adjustable, and it only swivels in this way, it does not swivel from side to side, but still, because the ear cups themselves, which by the way have the left and right symbols so that you never mix them up, even though they don't swivel on that side, they are so big that they go all around my ear and that makes them super comfortable as well, that adds to the comfort. Now, I think they would only be more comfortable if they were wireless, but as you can see, these are cable based, and the cable is braided, by the way, which is nice. No inline controls unless you use the USB dongle, which we will talk about in a second. The other aspect that or characteristic where this headset shines is the microphone. Now, I'm going to show you what it sounds like because I am already recording with the headset microphone as you can hear the sound is very clear i really like it if you do hear some wind noise because i have a fan right in front of me but hopefully that's not going to show too much on the on the audio now this is an excellent headset if you do a lot of conferencing if you do a lot of gaming then and you have voice chat in the gaming this is going to be excellent because the microphone sounds so good now having that said i did mention a usb dongle that comes with the headset and this is where the microphone shines even more, at least in my opinion. I will switch right now to the USB dongle, which is this right here. It's, um, it's already connected, but I do have to extend it. They do include a couple of uh, Velcro straps so that you can, you can fold your cables neatly. All right, so I'm, I'm going to switch to the 3.5 millimeter plug on this uh, dongle to show you what it sounds like. So just bear with me. Okay, so I had it on the port on my Mac Studio, directly the headphone or headset port in the Mac Studio. Now I'm going to plug it into the USB and I can confirm the audio levels. Yes, it is recording USB and now you're listening to the USB connection of this headset. In my opinion, it sounds so much better. Uh, you do have to listen to headphones to notice the difference, but I remember before when I was doing a review for this headset on YouTube, I did notice a huge difference when connecting it directly to the computer through the 3.5 millimeter and then through this dongle. A really huge difference. I was pleasantly surprised, especially considering the price. Now, one of the features included with this headset is a, a 7.1 switch right here which to be honest it really doesn't do anything good to the sound uh, i would steer away from it if your interest in buying a headset is 7.1 surround i'm sorry to say this is not the one however if you happen to use the windows sonic feature for surround sound or you have the racer software that comes with some racer headsets that are actually 3.5 millimeter then this is going to sound amazing without having to activate this feature, All right? So I would use the dongle, namely for the microphone, and the sound does improve a little bit when you use the, the USB headset. Uh, not incredibly so, but uh, just not the 7.1 surround. Yes, if you get the headset, never use the surround sound. It's not, at least I don't like it. That's my opinion.
Okay, so you do get volume controls for the the volume of the music that you're listening to and also for the microphone. So if I toggle this right here, the levels are going to reduce and if I go in the plus, then it's going to increase again. This is the maximum level, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, there we go, that's the maximum level. It also has a mute switch that unfortunately has a pop, so be ready because you're going to hear a pop right now. So there's that. I wouldn't be too concerned about using this uh, mute switch either way. I prefer to use the software switch in whatever program I'm using to, to chat. So like I said, they are super comfortable. The microphone is excellent in my opinion. The sound is average, I would say maybe a little bit above average the 7.1 feature never use it don't use it and yeah i think for the price though considering how comfortable they are and how good the microphone is i can very much recommend this headset i know some people have bought it based on my youtube reviews and they have been very happy with it so i hope that you are too if you do buy it so i hope this video was helpful and hope to see you in the next one